could a magnetar flare wipe out Earth in seconds? The deadliest star in the universe, out there in the deep, dark universe, are stars so violent they don't explode, they detonate reality. Magnetars, hypermagnetic corpses of dead stars that can send out a flare so powerful, it scrambles electronics, fries, satellites, and could vaporize Earth's upper atmosphere in a heartbeat. The terrifying part? One already did, and Earth barely survived. So what happens when the next one fires, and it's pointed at us? Let's feel the first shockwave. A magnetar is a type of neutron star with magnetic fields so powerful they could erase your credit card from 100,000 kilometers away. One teaspoon of its matter weighs more than Mount Everest. These monsters spin fast, crack open, and sometimes release a burst of energy equal to one quadrillion nuclear bombs, all at once. Now rewind to the day Earth got hit. In 2004, a magnetar flare from 30,000 light years away blasted Earth's atmosphere with radiation. For a split second, it was the brightest thing in the sky after the sun. Our satellites glitched, radio signals were disrupted, and that was from far away. If it had been any closer, we wouldn't be talking right now. Here comes the scary part. A magnetar doesn't give warnings. Its flare travels at the speed of light. You can't hide from it. You can't prepare. One moment, the world is normal. The next, electronics fail, planes fall, ozone burns, and radiation begins cooking everything exposed. And no, we don't know where they all are. Some magnetars are hidden behind gas clouds. Others are in galaxies we haven't mapped yet. And some may be much closer than we think spinning silently, waiting for one final crack in their shell to release the next killer flare. A magnetar flare is not science fiction. It already happened once and next time, we might not be lucky. These stars don't just shine, they erase. And if one ever targets Earth again, we'll only know it when it's already too late.